What's up, Toy Geeks? I'm George from Double G Toys. Get ready for another episode of Behind the Counter. Watch it now. I like to hide behind yeah, yeah. this TV. And you like show to hide behind everything. Less of my fat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> when I get skinnier, I'll, I'll come out to the middle. Episode oh. 44. Oh. All right, go for it. You again? All right. <laughs> 44. Three. It's all you, George. I know. What's up, Toy Geeks? Welcome to Behind the Counter. We're Behind the Counter. I'm George. I'm Ben. I'm Jack. And this is the counter. <laughs> Deck counter. Deck counter. Um, so, oh. starting it right off, it's a new month, guys. Whoa! Ready? It may just be. Shelf's pretty uh, empty. See what he did there? It may just... Uh, we had to leave up the event toy. I mean... That uh, yeah. event... How did we survive that event? I know. It was so crazy. <laughs> Very weird. you want to purchase, or uh, are you just loitering? I got nothing. <laughs> the Kid Robot uh, Blind Box minifigure set just came out for Adult Swim. We, we pop in here once in a while. We like all this stuff things. on purpose, yeah. yeah. You know, we're, we're here because we dig it. Yeah, we're, 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 we're geeks. Hey, can I, can I borrow your baby? <laughs> that was easy. Can I? That's messed up. I don't even remember when up. the fire happened and the, like the whole parking lot and burned down. All those poor people, and the drug addict donkey ran by. What? And then the guy across the street started firing at us all. all that like, happened. That did happen. Ooh, you varmints! <laughs> Get out of here! I hate all of you. Anyway. anyway, this month's artist of the month was chosen by Kyle T. Mm-hmm. Kyle and if T. you'd like to pick an artist of the month for next month, all you have to do is go over to our Facebook page and nominate an artist. I want this person artist of the month. That's it. That's e that easy. It's that easy. And then we just pick one at random. So that this works. month's artist of the month is the God Beast. Ta-da! Ta Glyos compatible. Nice. Uh, Kabuto Mushi is one of his figures. There's a mini guy too, he's always in there. Kabuto Mushi. And uh, you can go to his website, which is also right there. <laughs> there you go. And um, he does he does everything, and he does production toys. So I will be bringing him in, because we, we don't choose until we get here. Yeah. Um, I didn't know ahead of time who it was gonna be, so I didn't bring anything this week. But next week I will bring some toys, because I have some, nice. and we can look at them and review them. I like it. Beautiful. Cool. Thank you, Kyle, for the recommendation, and uh, congratulations, God Beast. Yay! Thank you, Marty. Artist of the month for me. Artist of the month. Speaking of artists, yes. speaking of, there's one in the wings, guys. So what are the wings? We have wings we here, have wings, yeah. but not the West Wing. It's forbidden. Uh, oh man! Can Come we? on down. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> As long as there's not going to be any da, more da, jokes. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Were there ever? <laughs> no. Well, yeah. Who's the Three guest? <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's Chris Wright. Hi, everybody. Yeah, it's me. Hey. Welcome. Thank Welcome. you. Thank you, you are now behind the counter. I am. Not very comfortable, is it? No, it's not. No. It's terrible. No. Especially with long legs. A lot of man and... funk back here. And st today we're wearing pants. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. I'm, well, glad we, I'm, I'm glad we wore the most color that we all own. <laughs> oh, this is the only yeah. color I own. Yeah. <laughs> Black is the new black. Right, right. 
right. Mm. Yeah. We'll have to review some colorful toys. How about that? Yeah. Let's do that. That's yeah. Right. How, how about that? How about that? Can you? I'm gonna keep it a thing. Can you tell people how they might know you? For those who you are, what you do, what you do, who you are. I'm a I'm a toy designer. I'm not a toy designer. George would have issue with that. I I'm an artist. Well, I draw specs for toys. I think George even has a problem with you saying that. I do drawings that people in. Never mind. They he, make toys in my art. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. He puts I have color sculpted on paper. a few masters, though. I have <laughs> sculpted a few masters. He does so. drawings. I do drawings every day. In the day. bathtub. Nice. And, uh, yeah, we, the, I have a lot of toys and merchandise, and I show in galleries and all wow. that stuff. But, but so. Do galleries? you really draw yeah. every day? I draw every single day. That's yeah. beautiful. But I, and a, I post five a week. That's amazing. So, that's yeah. great. I've actually, I actually do follow you, and I, I like oh, your you. scribble. Was it scribble of the daily? Day? Morning, Morning, Morning scribble. Yeah. Morning scribble. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. I, like it I don't follow you. Well, do your little magic thing and show <laughs> them where yeah. they can follow yeah. Chris. Follow me on Instagram right here. <laughs> there you in go. This area. Awesome. I did it. And you uh, have released a couple of toys. You've I actually have. released a couple of collaboration toys with. Other uh, artists. Yes, uh, my girlfriend, Amanda Louise Spade. Ooh, uh, uh, <laughs> we did a collaborative toy series, a uh, blind box series called Thimble Stump, Thimble Stump Hollow. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to screw up the you. names. <laughs> I, I don't remember all of the names. <laughs> I'm glad it's hard. So that's all for SEO. It's all search engine optimization because it's the only thing that exists on the internet that's called that thing. Until my new toy. So, yeah, until <laughs> yours comes out. Now that everybody knows the secret. Um, but yeah, we had a blind box series uh, came out nice. about three years ago, um, and uh, we may be doing another one. Yeah. Well, you ready to talk about some toys? Yeah, let's do it. Let's Yay! talk about toys. Toys, toys, toys. I guess we're in the right place for that. <laughs> All right. Yeah. What's first? Up first today is a brand new gremlin figure. A brand new gremlin figure. Keep that water mug away from brand it. new. <laughs> Keep it. Ah! <laughs> so this, this is by NECA. It's yes. the Gizmo Gremlin. Awesome. It's part of NECA's Ooh. real toy oh, line. Look at, him. look at that. Look at him. I'm, I'm, so I usually don't look at the toys before we film, but I, I had this shoved in my face. You can I, open the box. I mean, oh, yeah, let's yeah, open let's the box. Let's open it up. Yeah, Is you, it already been opened? Go open? for it, nope. man. Nope. Well, look, there's like tape on I'm going to destroy this. It's fine. It's go all for it. Good. Do you have a knife, George? I, no. That, look at a, a pen. A pen. <laughs> which can be used this. as a knife. We can, I was just talking about how prepared you guys are, and you handed me a pen to open something. Here. All right, so. Wow, whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa. All Put right, the never mind. Away, I take folks. it back. I take it back. <laughs> I just wow. was falling asleep. So, <laughs> okay, so what's the deal with so this? So, the deal with this is that I don't like that his little bow that in the movie he makes it out of a paperclip. They okay. couldn't just put a real paper clip in there. They made it out of plastic. Uh, yeah, well, it has to. Uh, no, why couldn't they just? Because I'm going to throw that away and make my real paper clip one. George, let's talk about toy production. <laughs> why did they have to make it this way? Because lawsuits and blah, blah, blah. My guess would be safety. Yeah. yeah. There you go. There you There's go. There's your answer. I know, but it's just. <laughs> I know, but it's just. You know what I mean? Oh, whoa! So I went to take him out, and his just his Look face came that. out. So Look that's how they happened. replace the faces, though. Holy mackerel! Whoa. Oh, that's hilarious! Oh, faces yeah. are falling everywhere. Faces are falling everywhere. Okay, so <laughs> creepy. My first question is. This is the best face. I'm oh gonna, wow! Nice. I'm gonna kick your ass, face. What's the question? Um, <laughs> why so many faces? Why no, the long no. face? Why how so much serious? Do, how much do these cost? Twenty-five dollars. Twenty-five dollars. You're kidding. It's perfect, me. right? That's pretty great. Good work, Nick. And Nekka. why does it See? cost? Why does it cost twenty-five dollars, George? This. Oh. Yeah. Oh no, I'm not complaining that it's twenty-five dollars. That's awesome. Okay. <laughs> but how? Okay, how does it cost twenty-five dollars? <laughs> well, they made all the. He- <laughs> George. <laughs> George really likes George his toy. He's playing geeking with it. out. Can, here, let's maybe put a face on. Yeah. Can we? Let's put the one that. It that looks likes. really creepy without a face. Do you think that there's a demand for a, a mid 1980s? Yes. Uh, Let me tell you about Gremlins. I mean, yeah. I love Gremlins. Yeah. And, well, they've been making Gizmo toys f- for a few years now. Okay. And they keep releasing more, so I'm guessing that there's a Let's demand because NECA does not put out something that doesn't make them money. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. I don't buy toys, so. <laughs> oh yeah sorry oh. i buy antiques i'm an old guy oh there you go there antiques, no um, antiques are good but what about antique toys look at his Retro eyes review, are all wonky man. they're all well, like you gotta like that's when he gets all like oh. Oh. okay this is pretty great i love that you can actually mess with would you eyes. buy this um no i wouldn't oh, buy gosh. it because 
it doesn't look like the the puppet from the movie. It looks like a toy version of it. But it's a toy. I don't want a toy. I want Gizmo. <laughs> so you want movie. it with real fur? So yeah, I'd want it to look. Well, okay. So I was just at uh, at Comic Con this year. He wants a, the Metacom. There one. was a stat that statue. Yeah, you want that the, thing was beautiful. That's the Metacom one, and it costs like a hundred and twenty dollars. And then every time you leave the room at night, it jumps off the shelf <laughs> and destroys itself. And then I have to yeah. give it to George to fix it. Because the little demon living inside Wait, of it, it keeps one, jumping off the shelf. Is it the one with it's the happened. flame? No. Like he's, yeah. he's like, yeah, that thing's you don't amazing. Understand. I put that thing on the shelf. I put it on the shelf three times. Three times I have found it jumped off the shelf onto the floor in pieces. Every other toy in that room, fine. You need to get yourself an extra. It's interactive. <laughs> <laughs> That's your play factor right there. That's where all your money's going It's a real to. gremlin. That's right. You know, no matter how That's you right. set this up, his eyes are always wonky. Yeah, see? No. Yeah. Take, take, no off the, take off the head. No, it? but take right the there, he's just tired. And that's, well, on, here, that's make, on just... Here, make him sad. Really? I, I mean, yeah. I think about this stuff a lot. I mean, I'm glad that there's a market for stuff, but is it literally all us buying it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's definitely yeah, yeah, most of okay. it. I mean, when you think about it, though, like, a lot of the stuff that NECA makes is for collectors. Collect kids, kids aren't collectors. Kids play no, with toys. Right. No. Adults but, are collectors. But when I was, when we were kids, if this came out, I would have bought this. I had that. I, yeah. I had, the, I had all the versions they but had. But what I'm saying is well, kids, now good. kids now wouldn't buy it if this came out now. No, it needs to have an Because they don't care. It needs yeah, to be an app. Right. So, so is, that, this, is yeah. this shelf worthy? Would you put it on your shelf? <sighs> After Jack finishes it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you like that it comes in a box that has like the background as a diorama? Yeah, I mean it's fun. Uh, it's yeah. all right. Yeah, it's, it's it, you know it was it wasn't as fun as the ET toy that came out that had a better background to it. This is just a regular, just fuzzy, blurred out picture. There's nothing. It's just there. a screen grab. It's it's just a set. There's nothing there. A set of what? The corner of the bed? Well, it's it's the well, no. They could have done better. Here's the thing. I I think this is. <laughs> This toy has a lot of playability to it. Yeah. I'd play with this toy. I wouldn't put it on my shelf. You wouldn't put it on your shelf. No, I'd sit it next to my computer and mess with it all. So day. it's a it's a table, yeah. Yeah, I mean, but that's that's good too, right? It's a fidget toy. You know? yeah. 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 It's You're not totally a fidget it's bad. toy. Yeah. That's yeah. A, I'm not saying it's bad at all. I actually think it's really great cuz you want to mess with it, you know. There's a lot to do with it. So, shelf so, worthy? No. Huh? I you know what? See, I wouldn't put it on you my see, shelf. Either. I put the other one on my shelf mm. because well, it's the one with the fur at. and the right. one that's like right. Right. That really well made. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. But this, this is, one, no. This is diorama for sale. Yeah, this is like yeah. play it, play with it, and play type with of, it. And, yeah. Right. Yeah. All right. Well, right. hide that one in the fridge so to scare people. That's done, yeah. kind of. Right. And that one didn't even want to stay on my shelf. So whatever. Here's all your accessories. There you go. Accessories. We're done with that one. Comes with a lot of cool stuff. It does. It really does. Toys. Toys. Let's go on to the next thing, shall we, George? Let's, let's All right. Um, huh. Well, we're going to open some blind box then. Yay. Here we go. Let's let's open up some toys that relate more to the younger audience. The younger, like Hold twenty, your like twenty years. It really is a younger audience. Yeah, that's mine. That's yours. That's fate. Fate. See, fate decided where those. Do okay. you watch the Bob's Burgers? I've seen about ten episodes of it. Oh, I love it. I love um, this show. Are we doing this already? Is yeah, it's Bob's Burgers. No, man. Because like, can I do it now? Oh, I never want, know when to open, open it. it. I never know because you guys. Yeah, are let's like, open so, it. So uh, Jimmy, da da da, sculpted it, and like I just want to open. So well, is it time? Okay, yeah, let's open it. Do we think that the sculptors that sculpt for licensed toys should get credit? Yes. Mm. Yeah, of I course. do too. Why not? Put them on the I box. Do too. Are they on the box here? Nope. Time to open it. Designed but. With, with buns. <laughs> but it's uh, I don't know. It's Come fun. on, it's fun. But everyone thing, should then. get credit everywhere is for everyone, everything. I was gonna say, then is everybody gonna get credit? The guy that did the box art, no, yeah, I'm get just, credit. And then, uh, yeah, it's gonna be like a scroll of credit. That, that is gonna be a, <laughs> the guy that came up with that. Yeah. Is he gonna get credit? For, yeah. Like, oh. And then the guy in the factory who pulled it out of a machine, does he get credit? Yeah. Like, yeah. Just don't give anybody. Daniel credit. Bernstein, yeah. Michael <laughs> Heffenberg, yeah. all those guys. What? Oh, I got the inspector dude. <laughs> all right, oh. so I guess I'm trading you, Ben. I got Hugo. I don't really know yeah. anything about this show that much. Hey, Bob. Hey, Bob. <gasps> I need, I need That's the best one. Bob, Where's you know. Archer? The Archer? Nobody got a Bob. Oh, hey, guys. You know. So, first of all, let's mention these are from Kid Robot. Uh -huh. uh, they are the uh, Bob's Burgers minifigures. There's also a line of keychains. And uh, we've also talked about the medium vinyl figures already, which is the Beef Squatch and the Bat Tina. So, these are the minifigure lines. Uh, and they actually go for eight ninety nine, which is great. That's not bad for, for this a minifigure. Yeah. yeah, and the paint is clean. 
you know, the figures are stylized kid robot figures. But I love Bob's Burgers, and like that Tina toy is great. You know, that's Tina. Yeah, so that's why I like these. I'm a Bob's Burger fan. Um, so what, are we saying that these are shelf worthy? Are they not shelf worthy? They're or desk worthy. They're, they're desk worthy. They're yeah. office space cubicle. Hey, check out! I have this. That's all. I mean, it's not. Yeah, not these are fun. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. fun, and yeah. they, and they love. They, they you know, do the job that they're supposed to. They do. can hold things. Oh, that's cool. You know yeah. what? I rather pay nine dollars for these than the Funko Pop, which go for about the same cost or ten bucks, because mm. these look more like the characters. Right. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's true. I do like these more than the Funko yeah. Pop. Yeah. Definitely. Unless you already have a giant wall of Funko Pops, oh, and if you're that's your thing, like, yeah. and then and you know, then you're trying to be cohesive. Right. I would love a set a of Bob's Burger figures that look like Bob's Burgers. Like the style, of like the cartoon, you know, like, like the, the medium, the whole thing, yeah. all of them, the whole. Well, figure. that's the medium. You mean like the figures. right proportions and yeah, like not yeah. a stylized, like mm. whatever vinyl stylized thing is. I want them to look like the figure, like yeah. they're supposed to. But someone will well, eventually make it. The show's well, yeah, popular. I mean, how yeah. many Ninja Turtles toys have been made yeah. in yeah, every that's size? True. I'd like those yeah. made to look yeah. like the right. Yeah, thing well, too. yeah, yeah <laughs> eventually. Oh, <I laughs> Which version of the Ninja Turtles? I do love this Teddy though. It's awesome. Okay, Bob. Okay, Bob. All right, so you do a really good Teddy. One of the things we should talk about, Chris, is some of your art. Nah, okay, let's we, just well, skip over okay. that. Before we I'm get fine to the, talking about it. <laughs> before we get to the toy of yours, yes. we should mention that your store uh, just recently had some pins put in. Yes, it. I just restocked um, with some new and nice. pins. I went um, to go to your sale, but I missed all the stuff. Um, that was like yeah. The, the original art yeah, and all that's gone. All that stuff, stuff sells in like seconds. three to eight You're like minutes. You're <laughs> popular. Yeah. But you brought enough for all of us. I, no. Yeah, I mean, you guys can totally <laughs> fight over them if you'd like. No, these are already uh, in my pocket. And we'll but I'm going to take them out to show you, and then I'll put them back right. in my so pocket. So you're just going to ship Unless us some more. It's shelf oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> at a wholesale price. Aww. So here's a couple of his pins. <laughs> um, so these aren't, I, I have like fancy packaging, but I hadn't put these on yet. Um, <laughs> well, because you but, know I throw away fancy yeah, packaging. Yeah, because you don't so. care about packaging anyway. And you'll eventually sell these at Decon, right? No, nope, pins stay on my board. <laughs> they stay on the board. For now. I have uh, pins so from my childhood on my board. Pins don't go away. So uh, I decided to be super original and do some enamel pins. Wow, um, nobody's doing those anymore. I know, yeah, nobody's doing them. <laughs> uh, so I did one of my one of my more popular characters, Sparkle Pony Magic, who's been around for a while, and uh, she's like full of magic and dreams Sparkle and love. Pony, um, but the funny thing is, if you look at Sparkle Pony Magic, <laughs> uh, she is just this really kind of gross, ugly worm. But she has a, a like a luxurious mane. <laughs> And I decided to put glitter in the in the, the main, so uh, and it has like a little you know, like fire. real glitter in there. Yeah, there's real glitter in there. Wow! Um, wow! And this is another one of my more popular uh, characters. This is Catstoom, which a lot of people thought it was Katsume, which is like Japanese, Japanese for nothing. It's just Catstoom. It's, <laughs> it's a cat costume. It's Katsume. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Katsume. So yeah, no, there you go. But you we talk about your pins to then bring up your toys. Yay! Yay. So, so tell us what these are. So these are the Figgle bits. These were uh, these were made for Rotafuji mm -hmm. um, and produced by Squibbles Inc. Um, there are three different designs, and they've been produced in four different colors so far. So there's been pink, orange, green, and blue. So we have the blue one yep. and a green one in two different two of the three designs. Right. Cool. So Wait. yeah, and their names let's, are let's open them up. Fibbly, Plop, and Gumble. Yeah, they are. Gumble. <laughs> See, I screwed up another name. Your own uh, name. Just you name them yeah, all so like Bob and Henry and <laughs> So George, I did sculpt the masters for these. Nice. Whoa. So does that make me a toy designer? <laughs> You could call yourself a toy designer. I, I don't get mad at that. But I don't want it, like I know there's people that are actually toy designers. Validation that, like, have from to George. Do, like you know joints and tolerances. Yeah, there's real toy designers. I don't do that. This I'm you're, not the four horsemen. You're an art toy designer. I'm a, yeah. I'm an object designer. You but could it's be an art it toy isn't, designer. Yeah. Yeah. I love how you need to get validation from George. Doesn't well, I everybody? respect George. Oh. George is a very accomplished you do? sculptor. That's what we should He's do. the only guy. Yeah. The only yeah. one. <laughs> George is a very accomplished sculptor and has sculpted many, many art toys I in will, this scene and I think should get a little more credit than I him. will agree to that. I, I, didn't. I, I, I don't I, need it. You still get nothing. Well, <laughs> I want it, George. I don't care what you want. Um, but so, yeah, these came, these guys came out fun. They're just like one pole vinyl. They're not they're not articulated or anything. So this is Gubble. That's Gubble, and that's Plop because he sits on his butt. Because it has um, it has them right here. 
Yeah, I, I do love the paint job on, the on these. And these go for like twelve ninety five, so thirteen bucks. Yeah, and you can get the whole set of them. But I think the orange one. Thirteen ones, bucks. The or, so uh, this guy complains about I'm giving it the to price. Buy thirteen dollars uh. of toys. And he's never had one produced. Let's talk about that. <laughs> Let's, <laughs> talk about yeah. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. I like the paint job. Like first thing, as soon as he, they were in here, the little wrinkles and the little wash in there. Yeah, going it's in. like a wash, right? And I love the eyes. When you any figure that has really cool eyes like this, to me, it's like that just makes it. Yeah, like, that's that's the something eyes that's like, Chris's style. Yeah, that's yeah. something that I try to make sure of with with all my toys and all my figures like is no that no matter where you hold I, it there's a shine I in. keep it I keep the glossy eyes consistent so whenever yes. whenever we have something produced in the factory we, we ask for glossy paint on the eyes because mm. it kind of brings them to life if yeah. there's if there's no shine on it the lifts eye, the it's, light it's, shine yeah, off yeah, of it alive. and gives that so it's amazing what that does too so if you saw this without the gloss on it it would look totally different yeah but yeah when you put the gloss on there they just boop, they're alive cool so I don't know if there's any more colors coming to those. Uh, I get short notice on those. Um, <laughs> well, these are still but, available at yeah. 3D Retro. Actually, like we were just discussing, Jack's cost price, cost analysis. What is it? That's a good price. Yeah, yeah. Um, these are 13. I want It was. It was brought up uh, behind the scenes on another show I do. Um, something that you had had brought up on your website that I wanted to kind of discuss. And okay, clear up. Mm. let's um, discuss and it. it was, that you charge. It was. It was said that you charge people if they want to get a tattoo of your work. What? Which is make you make people pay you. Right. He doesn't that's make ex them. That's exactly <laughs> how it goes. Wait a minute. Wait so. a minute. How does? How does? Wait a minute. So I just want. Actually, I just wanted to talk about it and see. Okay. Just in case someone else read it that way okay. too. Okay. So if, clearly, yeah, on clearly my website, if you go, if you go to my website and go to my FAQ page. Okay. Um, there's a section for tattoos because I literally get people asking me three to five times a week, sometimes three to five times a day, if wow. they can get a tattoo of my work. Because I put out so many designs. I put out five designs a week, and a lot of times they resonate with people, and they're like, you know, I love pizza, and then they want a pizza tattoo. I mean, sometimes <laughs> literally at the end of the day of posting that design, I'll see a tattoo. That's like, awesome. Like the That's same actually day. pretty cool. Though. Which is rad. That's I mean, amazing. it's I, it's super flattering, and it's super awesome that people want to get tattoos of my work because they're, like, stoked on it. I feel yeah. there's a butt in there somewhere. No, it's not a butt. It's 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 a and also. And also. Um, so when you go to a tattoo, uh, okay, so what's on my FAQ page is, is, is a, hey, thanks for wanting to get a tattoo. That's awesome. Okay. It would also be awesome if somehow I was... You know, part of that transaction, and it's not necessarily a you have to do this or else sue you. I'm, I mean, that's not whoa, whoa, that's, that's little... not what I'm saying at all. Um, and there's tons of people that get tattoos of my work without without going through the, the suggested that's... tip, and I'm I'm totally fine with that. It's it's cool, but um, but there's also people who are like huge fans of what I do and also want to support what I'm doing huh. and like help put food on my table but it makes sense too and also like if, if if i was gonna get a tattoo like that and i saw that on your page and i i paid for that design too i would have a sense of ownership on that too it's like and then right. it's a collaboration and it's like hey look the artist approved it and look and, and then i would tag you in it and it would right. be like a thing it's not just yeah don't don't take a picture bro because i didn't pay for it you know what right I mean? so <laughs> I think well it, but that's it the thing makes it better if you came up to me and you're like i got a tattoo i'm not gonna be like can I see the certificate? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. like you know, I mean, I'm, I'm always cool with people doing it, and, and, and it's not that I'm extra cool with the people that pay money. Like, it's just, it's nice that you're cutting me in, and I'm giving people a way to do that, because it's interesting when you ask people, a lot of times they, if you, if they know there's a way to help the artists out, they'll right. do it. Yeah. And that, I mean, that's, and that's really cool. And like I said, I'm not, I'm not trying to like take advantage of the situation at all. But well, it's funny because I just I've never even thought of it. Like I owe a lot of people money. I think. <laughs> well, well but only, I mean, but only if you want to. And and the thing is, like, uh, you know, I just say, hey, it's thirty five dollars if you want. It's like a tip. If you want to do it, you can. Okay. It's awesome. Yeah. Um, and I'm not going to discourage people from from getting tattoos if they if they don't want to pay. And we talked um, about this before the show, and you had brought up. Um, like flash art on a wall. Like yeah, When exactly. you go into a tattoo shop, there's flash art that's up there. Okay. And those, all that flash art has been paid for. Those people, the tattoo shops, you generally either buy that flash art from somewhere where they all get it, because a lot of them have the same ones. Right. Or they'll hire a local artist to do flash art for their shop. Mm -hmm. So it is kind of like if you're picking this art for your skin, 
someone got paid for that art. Exactly. And you would be not being paid for that art because right. you don't have, there's no or, shop calling you to yeah, say. You can't go to every shop in the in the world and go, hey, I have right. another design for you. Right. Gotta exactly. go. Yeah. But also, like, if you go to, like, a really high-end tattoo artist and they uh, design something for you, you're paying for the design and the tattoo. Oh, yeah, they're, yeah. they're developing Definitely. something for right. you. So, and I've talked, I have a lot of friends that are tattoo artists and I've talked to them a lot about this and they're like, that's cool. Like we want everybody in, in the situation to be taken care of. Now, do you bring this up because somebody complained or? It was just talked about behind, it was not on, not on the record for on, okay. on, a, on Marsham. Okay. We were talking about it off the record. Okay. Um, so somebody, and I just w and I yeah. was like, "What? He makes people pay? Like, yeah. this sounds <laughs> it's, crazy." It's so funny I just how that know. stuff can like spin out of control. And, and I'd like, rather oh, say, I'd yeah. rather talk about it here, where we can talk yeah. about it and and bring out right. the actual. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> again, I'll just drama. say, yeah, anybody that wants to get a tattoo of my work. You have my blessing. Here's my guidelines. Go to a reputable tattoo artist. Don't mm. go to don't go, go to, to Myrtle friend. Beach yeah. on spring break and it. regret it the next day. <laughs> that guy. He'll uh, do it. Uh, and take a photo of it and tag me. That's that's, that's all I want to do. Like take care of yourself. Go to a good tattoo artist and make sure you're getting good work. Now what if they didn't follow the first rule about going to a good tattoo artist? That's don't not, tag them. Yeah, that's don't not my them, fault. Tag them even more because yeah. those are the best ones to look yeah, at. Yeah. There may have been some of those. Yeah. So yeah. and if you ask me if I can you draw a turtle or can you draw a giraffe no Go look at my Flickr page I've already drawn it. <laughs> oh wow. so yeah and if you want to see those drawings every day you can subscribe to him on patreon yes Ooh. yeah I also have another way to sponsor I also have a patreon account you have like um, nine pages going yeah, up in this yeah. episode man That's yeah a and I do I do a lot of like behind the scenes stuff of stuff that I'm working on that I never show on Instagram until Ooh. it's finished um, and I also sometimes have secret sales that are only specifically for patreon so I just released a, a larger resin figure that was only to my patrons. What? So yeah, so it helps to be beautiful. But you know, that's the, that's, that's awesome. the support the artist. Yeah. Support the artist. Yeah. Speaking of other other artists, I think that's it for this episode. Actually. All right, we're done. Yeah. See you later, guys. What? Yay! All right. Well, that's a wrap. That's All a right. Wrap. That's good. Um, okay. So yeah. thank you so much for coming and bringing cool stuff because this was awesome. Technically, it was already here. He just showed up, and we brought him <laughs> out. <laughs> You're welcome. Haha! <laughs> -ha, you've yeah. been you've been tricked. Yeah. Oh, and also, if you want to get my coloring, what about book? the pins? He brought pins. <laughs> he brought pins. Yeah, yeah. scaly. Wedge. My coloring book is currently up for pre-order right now, shipping second week of May. So Man. next week. Now, before you go, will you be so kind as to sign our beautiful sketchbook? I sure and will. Draw a little sketch of your version of whatever you think a toy geek would look like mm -hmm. in your head. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can do that. Awesome. Let's do it. Well, yeah. Okay. Right I guess up. the next time we'll, we'll see you is up. Decon. Decon, yeah. <laughs> Unless you're coming to Five Points Festival. Hey, Decon oh, it maybe. is. D yeah, Decon. Yeah, Decon it is. <laughs> All right, folks. You guys, please subscribe and uh, what else? Share. Share. And to follow us on Instagram and follow us on Twitter. And don't forget to uh, oh, wear your black T-shirt. <laughs> yes. And by now, you should be going to toygeeks.com and watching the other shows. We yes. also have... The Kevin, what's new yeah. with the Kevin, and uh -huh. Marsham uh, Toy Hour is still there, yeah. and we have our pocket podcast. So make sure you go to toygeeks.com and check out all the shows, not just the stuff here on YouTube. Yeah, that's true. All right, Toy Geeks, signing out.